kids, my name is Joycey Horsey. Are you ready to read with me? Yes, yes, yep, yep, yes! Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's go! Hi there! Before we begin, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe! Today, we are going to read the book, You Can't Do That, Amelia! Are you ready? Let's begin. Amelia was a dreamer. She dreamed from the first light of the morning sun to the last lights of the night stars. Amelia did not dream ordinary dreams. One of her first dreams was to build a roller coaster that would swoop from the top of her shed's tin roof to her grassy Kansas yard below. I will build a track out of my own fence rails, and I will build a cart from the wood and roller skate wheels, Amelia said with a smile. It will be just like flying. It did not seem like such a big dream, but when she told her cousins, they just shook their heads and said, You can't do that, Amelia. But Amelia did. Gathering fence rails, wooden boards, and roller skate wheels, Amelia went to work. It took her more than a week to build her roller coaster, and her first ride ended in a harsh crash at the bottom of the track. But Amelia did not give up. She made the track longer so that the drop was not so steep. It worked! Amelia flew from the rooftop to the ground. When Amelia grew a little older, she dreamed of flying her own plane. She loved to go to air shows and watch the pilots fly. But even more, she loved to dream of the day that she would soar into the clouds and swoop like the eagles near her favorite creek. I must learn to fly, Amelia sighed. I will take flying lessons, and one day I will fly as high as my wings will take me. It did not seem like such a big dream, but when she told her family, they just clicked their tongues and said, You can't do that, Amelia. But Amelia did. She took flying lessons and bought her first airplane, the Canary. Amelia's flights were not always perfect. Several times she made crash landings, but she never grew discouraged. Amelia learned to read her instrument panels and soon set her first record by flying as high as 14,000 feet. In 1929, Amelia learned of the first Women's Air Derby, a race from Santa Monica, California to Cleveland, Ohio. The derby would run for eight days. Pilots would have several stopping points and there would be no night flying. Still, it would be dangerous. The pilots would have to fly alone through the harsh heat of the deserts and the rigid crests of the mountains. I will buy a plane that can fly long and fast. Amelia bit her lip excitedly. I will fly the deserts and the mountains. It did not seem like such a big dream, but when Amelia told news reporters, they just <laughs> laughed and said, You can't do that, Amelia. But Amelia did. On August 18, 1929, she set out with 19 other pilots. It was a difficult journey. Many of the pilots had accidents along the way. In Yuma, Arizona, Amelia landed in a sandbank and cracked her plane's propeller. In Columbus, Ohio, she stopped to pull a friend from a wrecked plane. But Amelia landed safely at the Derby's end in Cleveland, still able to place third in the race. In 
1932, Amelia dreamed the grandest of her dreams. She would fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Only one other pilot, Charles Lindbergh, had ever made the flight alone. Amelia was determined that she, too, would journey across the cold Atlantic. I will fly my very own plane across the ocean, she bubbled. I will be the first woman pilot to do it. It did not seem like such a big dream, but when she told other pilots, they just widened their eyes and said, You can't do that, Amelia! But Amelia did. In the quiet of night on May 20, 1932, Amelia boarded her single engine airplane and headed out into the darkness of the sky, into a storm that lasted for hours. At times, Amelia could not see where she was going. Ice formed on her airplane's wings. Inside, Amelia felt frightened and alone. She realized that the machine she was flying was doing its best, and she must do the same. Amelia glanced through the window to see flames shooting out of the engine's exhaust. But she did not turn back. She flew on until, at last, she landed safely in a farmer's field in Northern Ireland. As Amelia tumbled from her plane, she noticed she had upset the cows and startled the farmer. Have you come far? The farmer asked. America, she answered. Hmm. The farmer scratched his head. He looked carefully at the rather small, wind-blown, wide, smiling girl before him. He could not believe this young woman had flown alone across the mighty waters of the Atlantic Ocean. She couldn't have done that, thought the farmer. But Amelia did. The end. Hi, kids. My name is Cookie Cow. See you next time. Bye.